This is 2OF Entertainment. Hi, it's Kevin Low Bates here, and in this post, I'm going to ask for some help uh, because I'm going to be discussing business cases and value propositions for a self owned identity system. Now, it's a general fact that people tend to only do things if there is some kind of profit in it for them, and it's a legal mandate for companies that their activities make profits for the shareholders. So, then the question is in what way? is a self-owned identity system going to provide a company or an organization with profits? And I think there is a problem there in that at the moment the tech companies are doing very well monetizing our personal data. Companies like Google, Apple, Amazon, Facebook are making a fortune by gathering together vast quantities of personal information on people and using them to, for example, target advertising. And if you have a self-owned identity, then you're going to be cutting into those profit margins. So if a system is going to be built that is ubiquitous and allows us to all manage our own identities, who is going to spend the time, effort and money in actually building it? Now, I can see that, for example, the Bitcoin model of a bunch of rebel mavericks setting out to disrupt the existing financial system might transfer over to this, but then how's it going to get traction? What's the real benefit for individuals and can we make them appreciate it? Now, the evidence so far is that you can't. People are quite happily still giving all sorts of private data to Facebook, for example, despite repeated examples of them abusing the trust that their users put in them. So uh, I don't think that that model is going to work. And the other one is relying on governments to bring in such a system. Now, we are seeing some steps forward with things like the EU's GDPR legislation, which has some real teeth in that they have the uh, opportunity to impose some pretty eye-watering penalties on companies that misbehave. But in general, I think the evidence is that states are more interested in authoritarian control of their citizens than actually benefiting them um, when it comes to these kind of things. When there's a choice between surveillance or individual liberties, the pressure generally from the governments is on surveillance and control. So uh, do any of you out there have any business uh, cases where a company can actually profit whilst giving the individual the opportunity to control how their online identity is handled and used? I'd be very interested to hear any comments you have. Please leave them below. That's it for today. See you in the next video soon. Bye for now.